Hey, today I'm going to show you how to tame your brush collection by assigning custom icons to individual brushes so that you can find the right brush at the right time when you need it. And we're going to go over that in a second. I ain't getting out of bed today. I keep waking up from the previous night. Now I've already gone ahead and set everything up here so we can get right into it. The goal of this video is simple. If you are a uh, brush hoarder like I am, it gets a little confusing to try to find the exact brush you want exactly when you want. So I'm going to show you some tricks, some brush management stuff to really tame your brush collection and get in order. So you'll see the top three icons. These are the default brushes. I mean, you have your marker, you have everything separated. Basically, I'm trying to give you the starting point. You know, by default, this is sort of what it looks like. Now you see, I've already got some custom configuration here for brush packs I've already bought. You know, most of them I've gotten off of Gumroad, and, uh, you know, I'll go through them really quick, but nothing so crazy. This one, you'll see I have my own logo, which is basically going to be a repository for the most common brushes I use times category. And you'll see that behind them, there's actually even a custom color. I'm going to show you how to do that, but first, I'm going to show you how the uh, brush management system within Clip Studio is a little hokey. And I'm going to do that by taking these free brushes I got somewhere, not really sure. And I'm going to drag it right in here. Now you see how this says Yuddy Rough 3? Uh, that means I must have this uh, brush somewhere in one of these other tool panels. So again, the distinction and, you know, how Clip Studio refers to tools. Again, a little hokey. This is your tool panels. Anything inside it is called a subtool, you know, adding even more confusion to it. But I'm going to show you what I mean. If I drag it in again, you see it names it, even though it's the same thing. If I keep going, it names it for now. Like, it doesn't make any sense, even though they're the same brush. So the point is, to get this thing under control, if you start getting duplicates and such, uh, you might have a problem. And that's why I suggest doing this from scratch. So we'll delete these. Again, see, they call them sub-tools. They don't call them brushes. And then we'll get rid of this thing, too, because, like I said, I have it somewhere else. So, we're going to bring up a brush set I got off of Gumroad from a, a pretty well-known YouTube artist, I think, Robert uh, Marzullo, Ram Studio Comics. Guy's a brilliant renderer. Works a lot in Clip Studio and uh, Procreate. So, you know, before I bought his uh, full brush pack, because you could see I have a plethora of brush packs, I decided to download, um, you know, basically his favorite brushes or something or another. The thing is, I don't want to move them into any of these other tools. And I'm not ready to really commit and put them in my most favorite tools until I get a chance to use them. How do I go about doing that? I'm going to start with a brush I don't think I have in my inventory already. You see? It's, it's listed as one that's the same name. But as you can see, the difference between the file name and the brush name could be different. So again, you have to be careful. Now I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to drag it out to its own tool panel. You see, now it gets the default Clip Studio tool, right? Ram Pencil, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, I don't want that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here settings of the subtool but this is where all the magic happens you're going to click this and on my desktop i went ahead and i downloaded uh rob's logo somewhere on his youtube channel or something like that and i'm going to click it right here in addition i'm going to hit the background color and i'm going to leave it black because that's his natural logo and that's where i wanted to start i'm going to hit okay now you see there it is there's rob's logo there's the brush here's the problem when i go and i put Let's put darker pencil in here, okay? Because I want to use pencils here, and I want to use... Now, see, I must have this somewhere here because it says darker pencil 3. I want to use an ink brush, which I know this one is. So I'm going to drag this in here. Okay, I know that's a G pen. Again, I must have it somewhere else. And I'm going to drag it up here. Now, you see, there's no distinction. When I click on here, it goes back to that default logo. That's the bad part. You have to do this literally not only for every... I guess subtool panel you want, but also for each brush. So I'm going to go in here, click settings of subtool, and I'm going to go and I'm going to go pick the logo again. This time, I'm going to pick a bright red, 
as the background because for me inks are sort of um you know that's that's just the way i'm going black for pencils red for inks now there's an additional level of customization i'm going to show you here okay because i'm still too ocd for that if you go to this top section settings of subtool i'm going to call this pencils okay now you see what's awesome about that is it didn't change any of the brush names i'm going to go here same thing settings of subtool and i'm going to go inks so now what's great is in my tool panel no matter what one i click on i'm going to know instantly not only am i in rob's pencils but i'm also because i've color coded it I'm going to go between, you know, red and black, depending on what tool I'm in. And I'll go blue and, you know, some other ones. I don't tend to get too crazy with it, but enough that I know where I am. Negative part, again, like I said, is you're going to have to do this for each one. Now, if you have a million brush packs, for example, I'll show you some of the ones I have. I have uh, Daub, which these ones are older. I think I got them off his website, actually. I don't even know if there was a gum road when I bought these. Like I said, this is a combination of things. These are newer. I got these off of Gumroad. This is Eric Anthony J. And he's just got a ton of great brushes. And he was cool enough that he actually went ahead and did this like on his own. So he went and did, you know, all these icons and everything, which is, you know, fantastic. Then I have Friendins, which his along with Brian Allen. These are probably some of the most famous Clip Studio brushes. The only thing with the way Friendin does it. If you had his original brush pack, like from back in the day, he's kind of refreshed them and renamed them and done a different naming convention. So it might be easier just to start over, but I really doubt I'm going to go through every single one of these and, and, and do the icon, but that's friend that's icon. Anyway, last tip on this, we're going to take this guy, darker pencil and go in here again, only this time I'm going to change the brush size. Okay. Now you can see the actual, um, preview of the brush changes. And I'm going to change the opacity to 85%. And now, essentially, it's a different brush, right? I'm going to go here. Okay, and that's how that works. And the cherry on top, if I click the settings of the subtool, we'll rename it. You see that? So I can distinguish between the opacity, uh, you know, the brush size itself, what DPI the settings are. And I now have complete customization across the board and complete control of my brushes. And if you're an OCD nut like me, uh, this kind of stuff can drive you crazy and you can spend weeks doing this. Hope that was a help and hope you guys like these quicker, shorter tutorial videos. If you could do me a solid, click that like button, drop some comments to help the YouTube algorithm gobs show other people these videos. That's how that works now. And if you want to know how to back up these settings and all these configurations you made to drag and drop it pretty much into any other instance of Clip Studio, why don't you check out this video right here.